Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to take a look on how to create realistic water drops running down a surface in Keyshot. So this is um, the outcome that we are going to achieve. And um, as you can see, we have some realistic 3D water droplets that um, run down the surface. And also we have those streaks that um, change the surface reflection. And with the right tools, it's not that hard. Let's get started. All right, this time it's really easy to follow along because I prepared some downloads for you, some assets. You can click onto the link in the description, which brings you to my website. Um, you will be asked to enter your email address. And as soon as you do that, you will get access to all the necessary files. So just click here on the link to download the project files. All right, when we open the project files, you will find um, four files. Um, this is the bottle, the flask, and we also have a shell, which I'll describe a little bit later why we need that. And we have a drops MP4 and a streaks MP4. So these are custom maps I created and you will be able to download them for free. And I'll show you how to use them in Keyshot. So just um, drag and drop this first um, step file into Keyshot. So import, I'll center the geometry and snap it to the ground as well. And also just drag and drop the shell in here as well. So the shell is um, just an offset or just a copy of this outer bottle surface. So if I hide this, nothing will happen. So you can see this is just a, the outside shell of the, of the bottle itself. So next I'll just add some basic materials. I'll right click to unlink the material and just add this metallic paint material on top. And I'll just add a metal, let's go for steel for the cap. Next, I'll create a basic environment. I'll just drag and drop this light 10 screen uh, environment here because um, it gives a lot of contrast, but also brightness. So it's kind of nice. Then I'll go into the environment tab here, choose color as my background, and I will just pick um, some sort of uh, dark gray here. And that's my lighting setup for now. So next we want to add those um, drops running down the bottle. So for that, we need to unhide the shell. So you will see that it's basically intersecting with this red, uh, with our original surface. So what we can do is just unhide the flask for now. So double click into this shell material and we'll go right into the material graph. So open this one, I'll just resize to see a little bit better. And now we want to right click into the empty area and go to textures and go to video map. So double click into the video map and under frames, we want to open the drops MP4 and it will ask to extract the frames from that video, which we'll is click okay. All right, so now the video map is in our material. What we can do is go up here to preview the color. Now we can see what the texture looks like mapped onto the bottle. So now we can change the mapping type and we choose cylinder in this case because it mostly resembles a cylinder. And we want to center on the part, move the texture and then fit to the C axis. So that basically wraps it around our bottle so that's fine, we can go hit OK. And now we want to decrease the size a little bit. So maybe I want to um, show a bit more of it. And also it is not repeating itself. So in the back, you can see it's not repeating. We can change that by scrolling down and go repeat horizontal and also vertical. So now this texture will be seamless. So this looks fine. Now we want to add the displacement tag. So we add this through right click geometry displays. We can go out of the preview color and just connect the video map with the displays and the displacement with the geometry input here. So now double click into the displacement and let's see what we get when we execute. So this is um, a lot of spikes 
we need to change the displacement height. So let's change that to, let's say, one millimeter, execute, and this looks much better. You can see this is pretty much okay from the height, but we still see some um, artifacts, and this is because of the triangle size. So triangle size is pretty large, so we are going to change that to 0 0.1, let's say one. go enter, execute again, and this looks much better. So the re resolution is uh, much better now. You can see there is no artifacts happening. Next, we want to only show this material where the drops are. So right click into the empty area, go to utilities and color adjust. I'll just add this one in between the video map and the diffuse, and we will connect the video map to our color, double click and preview the color. So now we want to just increase the contrast a little bit because the opacity map will show everything that is white and hide everything that is black. So all the gray areas will be half, let's say 50% shown, but we can increase the contrast and the value, so the, the brightness, in order to make this distinction a bit more clear. So I'm keeping the contrast on of, uh, of one and just increase the value. This gives me enough contrast. And as soon as we put that into the opacity of our material, most of the material will be transparent and just our bubbles or our drops will be showing. So that's good. The last step what we have to do is double click into the fuse map, into this material and change the material type to glass. And also make sure to check refractive on. So that's it for the, um, for the drops. And now we can show our flask here again. As you can see, we have some really unwanted um, effects here. And this is because the shell surface is on the same exact position as our bottle surface. So in order to change that, we can double click into our material and our drops material, and we can go to the displacement and offset this slightly. So I'll go 0 0.01. Let's, change, let's try that, execute. As you can see, all these artifacts are gone. So that's fine. We can go out of here. So the next step is to add those streaks to our material. This we can do with a roughness map. So what I'm going to do is um, double click into the drips material again. So I'm going to rename that drips. Go to the material graph and right click onto the video map to copy the selection. So copy selection and go out of the material graph. Now we can double click into our flask material. So this metallic um, paint. Go open the material graph and right click and paste. And what this does is it'll put the video map on the same exact position as we had it on the other material. So this is really useful. Now we want to double click and change the frames to a second MP4. So just double click the streaks MP4 open and we'll ask again for the, the extraction of the frames. I'll just add a new folder. So now we have our new frames and I can preview this as well. If I click on uh, preview color, as you can see, it's, it's in the same position as our um, drops. So this will save us a lot of time. Now we want to add this into our roughness. In order to do this, I'll right click into the empty area and go to utilities and color to number. So this allows me to remap the black and white image here into numbers that the roughness setting will use. So I'll just input that into the color to number, double click and preview color. So now what I want to do is make the white streaks black and the black areas um, a dark gray. So I want to make the white areas be the smoothest, so the, the glossiest, and those black areas I want to be um, rough. 
So what I'm going to do is I'll change the output from and output to to kind of swap places. So I'll just drag this one up and this one down. And this will make um, the white areas darker and the black areas brighter. And I know that I want to have the most glossy parts at a roughness of 0 0.01. So it's pretty, pretty glossy. And I also want to, and I also know that I want to have the most rough parts um, with a roughness of 0 0.2, let's say. So this changes the um, preview here, but I also want to have a little bit more contrast. So I'll change the input to, you can see immediately that the streaks will have more contrast, will be more black. This will also mean the areas where it's glossy will be shown a little bit better. All right, so we now can leave the preview color mode. So now we can um, connect the color to number to our clear code roughness. And immediately you can see that those areas, those streaks are really reflective and and the rest of the bottle has this um, water condensation uh, look to it. So yeah, that's basically it. And the really cool part, which I did not talk about, is that all this is animated. So all these um, drops are animated. And as soon as you open the animation toolbar, um, you can see that we have two video maps showing. One is the streaks and one is the drops. The only difference is when I scroll through here, you will be able to see the animation of the streaks. You will see them change, but you will not see the drops um, moving because those are in a geometry node. So geometry nodes need to refresh every frame, but you are able to see them in the final result. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, leave a comment down below, like and subscribe for more videos every week. If you end up using any of these techniques, feel free to tag me on my Instagram, which is linked down below.